Hello and welcome to another video. This video we're going to talk about uh, user defined functions using the SQL database from Microsoft. Um, as you can see here, I have a dummy database I just made up. And I have one table on this database. It's called people. And on this table, the only thing I have is a first name and a last name and a country. I can, you can see on this uh, blue box and as you can see here the country has a three characters or a two character country and on some as you can see here uh, I'll be checking which one it is using the case statement very simple nothing fancy but you'll see on the next step about the user defined functions uh, you probably don't need a user defined function for this but this is just to uh, show everybody how it, they're useful so what I'm gonna be doing is you can use this whole statement for a case just to see what country it is if you want the full name or just use one uh, user defined function to do all this work for you um, so as you can see here this does work when you run it you get United States if it's a U USA you get United States it works perfectly now which one you think is easier to read this whole thing or this SQL statement it gives you the same results I'm gonna see it see if we can see it side by side no, it doesn't look good So as you can see here, which one it's easier to read. Eventually, if your SQL is long and complicated, having a user-defined function like this will help you uh, understand it later on. But if you're using case statements this long or more complicated, uh, the code can be really hard to understand, and especially if someone else is trying to read your code so for these examples it's okay but not for complicated or complex uh, SQL statements but anyways the idea here is to show you that once you have a user defined function all you do is pass a value to it and as you can see here I have the country full name same as the above but the code, the SQL statement is it's clean, easier to read. So how did I make this user defined function? Uh oh invalid code. Let's see. Probably because I'm under that one. Yeah. Okay, so it's working fine. Now we're gonna see how you can make your own uh, user defined functions. So go to your database and programmability. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of stuff. Go to functions. And there's a few type, there are three type of, four type of functions you can make. The, the, the one that uh, I just made, it's a scalar value function. So if you don't have, since you're going to be starting, just, just right click on. Uh, the folder and you can create a new function here all of this is just notes for yourself uh, who created the date some description and here's where the name goes so I'm gonna close this one and show you the one that I just made modify it so you can see I just deleted this whole thing that's optional and here's my the function name is people country and here what you're doing is uh, you create the parameter or the argument that you're gonna be passing on passing into so here what you're saying hey pass me on the country code or whatever you're doing and I'm gonna return uh, something back with bar chart 30 so here's where uh, the function is working 
is selecting what you're passing and as you can see from this example from this case statement the only thing we do is just pass it on to the function right here so it's doing the same type of case but in the background you don't see it you don't have to worry about and if you need to add more countries uh, all you do is just add another one I don't know no idea what the code is but you get the idea ch and then China and then all you do is execute so it's really simple you select what you're gonna get and then you run your case statement and then you return your value which is your select from the case statement very simple to use and uh oh did something wrong not sure what I did but uh, it's working it completed it successful so that's what you do and that's how you use it in your statements people country that's the name of this function and then you pass the value which is the country code US and that's all so hopefully this will give you a good idea on how you can make your own uh, user defined functions very simple to use but very handy because once you start adding a lot of case statements in your SQL it will get very complicated and very hard to to manage it later on so thank you for watching